Welcome to all of you on our YouTube channel. Today our topic is Momentum and Newton Sikanda. In this topic we will cover the relationship between linear force and linear momentum. This is an equation. We will try to prove this equation. F is equal to delta T divided by delta T. Why this topic is being given this name? Because Newton's second law, this is the formulation of the force. Newton's second law tells us that F is equal to MA. And when we derive or prove this equation, we will get the final result for force. So Newton's second law is also about force. And this equation is also about force. So that's why the topic has been given the name momentum and Newton second law. Whenever force is applied on a body that has mass m, acceleration a is produced. Whenever acceleration is produced in a body, so the body, whenever acceleration is produced on a body, its velocity changes from initial velocity to final velocity. Let us consider a body and that body is mass m and the velocity of the body is vi. Vi represent initial velocity. Whenever force is applied on this particular body, the body velocity changes from Vi to Vf. As we know that mass is constant, so here acceleration is produced in the body. Whenever mass changes from whenever velocity changes from initial to final, so acceleration is produced. That acceleration is given as acceleration is actually rate of change of velocity. Rate of change of velocity, that is acceleration. Here we have two terms. This delta show final minus initial. And this is the change in the velocity. So we will write final velocity minus initial velocity divided by delta t. So we will put this equation and equation number 2 put this value in equation 2, put this value in equation 2. Equation 2 implies that whenever we put this value in this equation 2, so equation 2 will take the form F is equal to M and here we will put A is equal to Vf minus Vi divided by delta T. Vf minus vi divided by delta t. Here this mass is in the product with the vf and also with the vi. So we will, firstly we will multiply mass with this and second step we will multiply mass with the vi. So this equation will take the form f is equal to m vf minus m vi divided by delta t. As we know that momentum is equal to P is equal to MV. This is the general equation of the linear momentum. If the velocity is initial velocity, so this will become initial momentum. If the velocity of the body is final velocity, as we already know that mass of the body is a constant quantity, so this will become PF. So we can replace these two by PF and PI. So on putting these two value in this equation, it will become, it will take the form F is equal to Pf minus Pi divided by delta T. Now this value, this is the final momentum and this is initial momentum. So this show change in momentum and the change is in the linear momentum. So F is equal to delta T divided by delta T. F divided by delta T. So here we prove that rate of change of linear momentum is called linear force. Whenever linear force acts on a body, linear momentum is produced. Actually, and whenever torque acts on a body, angular momentum is produced. We can say that linear force is related to linear, force, uh, linear momentum and angular force, that is torque, is related to angular momentum. Let's try to prove it with another method. 
we can also prove this by 